Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about the organization or classification of chemistry in a very basic way. If we say what is chemistry? Like how we can define chemistry in a simple way? Chemistry is basically the study of matter. Anything that is related to matter we study in chemistry like the composition of matter, changes in matter, relationships of matter, we study in chemistry. So if we draw the chart we can say matter. Chemistry is the study of matter. And what is matter? How we can classify a substance as a matter? Anything that has mass and it takes some space. We say it is a matter. For example in simple words like a chair. A chair has a mass and it is also taking up some space so we say it is a matter. Okay. Now how we can further classify it? How we can further organize it? Because without classification and organization it is difficult to study uh, a subject. A matter either it is classified as a pure substance like a matter either it can be a pure substance or it can be a mixture. Either it is a pure substance or it is a mixture. Now if you want to see we like what is a pure substance, how we can define a pure substance. Pure substance is a substance which has two properties. First it has a fixed composition and it has some definite properties. like a fixed composition or a definite composition both have like same meanings you can use the same words fixed composition and definite properties let us try to see what what that's supposed to mean for example let's take an example of water H2 now if you want to have water you must have two hydrogens and you must have one oxygen so water will only be H2 this is called fixed composition. If you have something else like H2O2, it could be any other thing but it cannot be water. Why? If, if you want to have water, it should have two hydrogens and one oxygen. Okay, this is called fixed composition. Now what are the properties? Properties of water will also be fixed. It's like colorless, odorless, tasteless and other properties. It will be the same throughout. It's not possible that you have two samples of water pure water, ignore the impurities. One is like uh, having colorless and odorless things, another is like has colorless, is, it's not colorless, it has blue color or white color and stuff like that. So it is not uh, the case. So if a substance has to be classified as a pure substance, it must have fixed composition and definite properties. Okay. The further if you go classify this one in further classification of pure substance, pure substance is either like you know all the elements and compounds are classified as pure substances. All elements and compounds are classified as pure substances. Elements means you can put like carbon, nitrogen, sodium, they are all are pure substances. In compounds we can have examples like water, carbon dioxide, any, any compound. All are pure substances. Now come on the right side. If we talk about mixtures, mixture is just a physical combination. When pure substances are combined physically, we just get a mixture. Mixture is a physical combination. And how many types of mixtures are there? There are two types. Mixture is either a homogeneous or mixtures are heterogeneous. Either it is homogeneous or it is heterogeneous. What is the meaning of homo? Homo comes from the word same. Homo is same and what is hetero? Hetero comes from the word different. Like those mixtures which have same or uniform composition 
we call them homogeneous mixtures and those mixtures who have different composition we call them heterogeneous mixtures. What is the meaning of same composition? Let us try to create an example of it. Take a glass of water and put salt in it, some salt in it and dissolve it. Okay, Salt will completely dissolve in water. Now divide that cup of water into 3-4 different cups like divide it and try to drink from all these cups you will see that the taste of all is same why because the salt is uniformly distributed in it that is why it is called a homogeneous mixtures and what are the types of homogeneous mixture called solutions we call them solutions solution is a homogeneous mixture and take a glass of water and put sand in it and try to dissolve it you will see sand will not uh, dissolve in water it will settle down and if even if you want to distribute it into four three four cups you will see you cannot distribute it evenly why because the composition is different this type of mixtures are called heterogeneous mixtures okay they are further classified into two types either a suspension in which the particles are heavy and they settle down or they are called colloid in which the particles are light neither they settle down and neither they dissolve this is a brief uh, distribution or classification of matter let's let's uh, draw a graph like a not a graph a diagram to make it a little more proper without the definitions if we go let's say we have chemistry chemistry is what study of matter right matter is what matter is either a pure substance what is a pure substance we just discussed or matter is a mixture mixture is just a physical combination pure substance further are classified like all elements and compounds are pure substances and if we talk about mixtures, mixture is either a homogeneous or they are heterogeneous. Okay, element example like sodium, carbon, compound like H2O, homogeneous mixtures are what they are solutions. Solutions mean like salt water it is a solution and when we talk about heterogeneous mixtures heterogeneous mixtures are what heterogeneous are suspension or they are colloid suspension example like sand water and colloid colloid can be like you can call milk is a colloid milk is an example of colloid this was a brief introduction to classification of matter like how we can classify matter in many books you will say classification of matter is like element compound or mixture we have studied in detail about them like how we can classify it in coming videos we will also talk about in detail about elements compounds and mixtures thank you so much for your time